All right, well, we've been in the actual worst vehicle, and now today we're going in probably the second worst vehicle. But at least we get to do it while we're playing as Funky Kong. Yeah, today we're going to be in the Piranha Prowler. I know some of the hardcore people actually think that this might be the worst vehicle in the game. I still think it's slightly better than the Jet Setter. As you can see, it's handling and drifter a little bit higher. It just has lower speed. It's also one of the heaviest vehicles in the game. We're going to use uh, Funky Kong for this vehicle because... <laughs> Funky Kong makes the Piranha Prowler actually the same color as PD Piranha, so... Just gotta get the, the consistency, you know? Alright, so today we're starting out with the Grand Star Cup. And we've got the Lunar Speedway, Fungal Jungle, that's a good name, GCN Mushroom Bridge, and Yoshi's Woolly Raceway. Okay. This should be interesting. Mushroom Bridge should at least be manageable. Have no clue about the others. <laughs> this will be fun. Let's hope the Piranha Prowler does us all right. First up, we got Lunar Spaceway. Wow, that is a lot of red. And also, we go in a cave. And we've got some Eternal Star from Mario Party 1. And UFOs going around. Okay, this looks interesting. It's like we've got a colony on the moon, hence the name. So, all right, Lunar Spaceway, I'm excited. Looks like a really coolly themed uh, level. Thankfully, we've got these arrows on the ground to tell us which way to go. Oh my. What next? <laughs> How in the world is Baby Daisy going faster than Funky Calm? I'm two weight classes above her. Alright, this is a pretty boss level to start things off. Oh wow, that is one tight turn. On my subsequent, subsequent laps, okay, they need to stop throwing mushroom or banana peels at me. On subsequent laps, I'm gonna not trick off of that part. All right, this is awesome. It's like we're exploring moon caverns. Are you serious? Good, baby Daisy got hurt as well. <laughs> okay, I'm, there's a shortcut down there, but I'm. It looks like you're gonna need a boost of some kind. Oh my, what on earth is this? Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> no! There's a gap there! Alright, Yosh. There are meteors left. Okay. It's impossible for me to tell where there's like a giant gap or a pit on there or not, whatnot. Probably just me being dumb, but. Alrighty. That lightning's gonna help out very rare that I'm on the giving end of a lightning, so... Hey! Jackbutt, I'm gonna... gonna make you regret taking my power-ups. How come, no matter where I am on the race, Baby Daisy is always matching my speed? Okay, we are not tricking off of this. So that way this turn will be way less scary. There we go. Wario, okay, that's a nice, that's a nice ride, Wario. The honey cupola suits you. Oh, hey, a blue shell at, like, the exact same part that it landed on last lap. Oh. Aha, alternate way, and we didn't even need a mushroom. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's hard for me to tell where there are actually, like, cracks in the ground and where it's just, like, a design choice. <laughs> just like, oh, there's pebbles here because it looks cool. Versus, like, there are pebbles here because that's the end of a cliff that you can trick off of. Alright, this is a cool level. Fairly long for a free lap course. But it's, but it's cool. I like the theming. I think the brown of the moon floor... Makes it hard to distinguish between the floor and the wall at times, but ultimately it's a pretty awesome level. And wow, we've got a pretty decent breakaway. Wario's on our tail, but I'm not worried about that. And this level was made in such a way that even the Piranha Prowler can get through it without too much difficulty. 
a little bit of it comes down to how well you know the course, but still. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, how come none of those banana peels stopped the red shell? Even the one that I dropped right before it hit me. Real? Come on, Donkey Kong. Oh, wow, we got triple mushrooms. That's pretty nifty. Eat my dust! Yeah, and that's how it's done. Shit, coom. All right. Funky Kong Piranha Prowler? Yeah, 4 minutes 15 seconds to get for that course. It's kind of a lot, but that was a fun one. Great way to start out the cup. And I saw there was a couple of quick shortcuts that you could take if you had mushrooms, but I pretty much never did. That's fun. That, that's a well-designed course. I like that. Maybe just make the floor a little easier to distinguish from the wall. Fungal Jungle, please don't be bouncy mushrooms. Please. Just make decorative mu mushrooms. Are those little bitty buggies that were walking around? Okay, I haven't seen any bouncy mushrooms on the minimap, so this could be cool. I really like the look of this course. I like the mushroom theming. Okay, there is one bouncy mushroom. I will give that a pass unless it's really poorly designed. All right, Waluigi. You're going down. Yeah, that's what you get. Okay, one bouncy mushroom, that's totally fine. I don't mind a single one. It's when you've got a, like 15 in a row that you have to turn while bouncing on. That's when we have a problem. Ultimately, okay, this is... I guess you could argue this course is a little on the boring side. I, I disagree, though, because I think the, the visuals on this level are stunning. You've got the, these little... Oh, they're the little coin purse enemies. That were in, like, Mario 64 on Snowman's Land. Oh, that's kind of cool. They look like little bitty buggies. Which is a vehicle from Mario Kart 8. No, I heard that shell sound from behind me. Oh, man. Ouch. Oh, no, no, no. Doggone it. There had to be a banana right there. Alright, thus far, though, yeah, I definitely think the uh, Piranha Power is a better vehicle than the Jet Setter. Still a bad vehicle, but less so. Although, honestly, at this point, I actually might think... It's not the worst, but my least favorite vehicle is the Spear. I cannot stand the Spear. I would take the Jet Setter, I would take the Piranha Prowler, I would take the Phantom. All of that is preferable to the uh, Spear for me. Alright, this is a fun course. Maybe there could be, like, a shortcut on the level or something to spice it up a little bit? Oh, come on. Oh, the peach. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Stop giving me fake power-ups. Can't deflect red shells with that. Well, still one first place. That was a nice, fun, simple little level. I really enjoyed that. I would go back to it for sure. Again, I think maybe it could use, like, a shortcut to make it a little more exciting. But otherwise, that was very, very enjoyable. I like, I like simple courses from time to time. And it was a nice contrast to the first one. Both were great. All right, time for GCN Mushroom Bridge. I don't know why this course always seemed a little just kind of blah, blah to me. There's, like, a lot of straightaways... There's a variety of courses that have, like, moving traffic on it, and this one always just kind of failed to stand out in any way. The bridge at the end, like, they kind of tried to make it into a shortcut by, like, you can ride on the railings. 
but it really didn't work because it wasn't actually faster to do that. And it was really risky. Look at Diddy Calm. Alright, Yoshi. Get out of my way. Oh, hi. How is Yoshi going faster than me? Again, I'm a full weight class ahead of him, and I'm in one of the faster cars. And he's in the standard. You cannot tell me the standard cart medium is faster than the Piranha Prowler. Okay! <laughs> okay. Good job, Funky. Alright, on this lap, I'm gonna try to go over the bridge railings. Yike, okay. What the heck, the Wiggler... The Wiggler bosses are insane in CTGP. Oh, that's bad. Alright. Oh, hey, they added a power-up up here. Uh-oh. But here's the thing, like... Even, even if, oh, come on, really? I hit that? Even if I hadn't hit the car at the end of that bridge, like, it barely is any faster. Which is really unfortunate. All right, shortcut time. Hey, yoinky doinky doinky. Yoinky doinky doink. Yeah, here, blooper. I'm not even going to bother with the bridge railing on the last lap. Because again, it's like really not faster and it's way riskier. Oh no, you don't, know, Peach. No freaking way. Peach is not faster than me. She wasn't even wheeling, she was just driving. Oh man. Mario Kart Wii AI. Well, we won first in the end. Yo, yo! All right, time for the last course of the Grand Star Cup. And it is, what was it called again? It was something cool sounding. Yoshi's Wooly Raceway. All right, here we go. Well, if it's anything like GCN Louis, uh, Yoshi Circuit, this could be pretty awesome. All right, all right. I like the design of this course. It really looks like a celebration of the Wooly world from Yoshi. All right, I, I can get behind this. This looks like a very promising course. Oh, wow, that is one complicated mini-map. I'm excited, though. And before people ask, I will not be pumping the Wooly World theme into this level. Because that song has given me PTSD. Great! I threw a bomb and it only blew me up. I try, I'll try to pump a Yoshi song in here, but it's not going to be the Wooly World main theme. Okay, I, uh, I did not realize that you, that was going to just kill me if I went in. Oh, I see that sharp degree. Are you serious? What is with this course and just being like, oh, there's an obstacle right where you're driving? Really? Full gold mushroom did not even rise a single place. Alright, it's a cool level, but uh, I did not have a very good first lap, so... Oh, that's good. That was the perfect time for a lightning to happen. Move it, Peach, you're not faster than me. All right, this time we'll actually go around. Okay, that extended out farther than I was expecting. Aha! Eat it! That part is going to be pretty much impossible to do with the Brown Prowler. Because it's a very sharp turn, and there are boost panels that launch you in the wrong direction. Peach. 
Apparently I got into first somehow. I'm not really sure how that happened. This course looks like it has a lot of shortcuts. If you have the mushrooms to take them. Which sadly, I do not. And of course, Peach takes my power. And of course, there's a green shell that ricochets in just the wrong direction. Maybe Peach, or Baby Daisy. Ah, here we go. Are you kidding me? Way. Okay, I'm gonna go this way, because I haven't gone this way yet, which this might be a bad move, because I haven't been on this way, and it's the last lap. Let's see, we could have taken the roof, though. It's a good thing we didn't take the roof, because if we had fallen off the roof at the earlier part, we would have gotten clobbered by a red shell. All right, that was a really good course. Really kind of tough to navigate with all of the computer players being hyper aggressive against me, but that was fantastic. Love the v love the scenery. Love how it love how it worked. It was mm, that's a really good course. Really, really fantastic cup all around. I thoroughly enjoyed that, and we got a star. I'm kind of surprised with how many times I fell off, but there you go. It's just because I'm a little curious to explore some of the potential shortcuts on this level. I'm here in time trials mode, so right off the bat I saw there was- yeah. You can cut for there with a mushroom, which is pretty cool. Oh no, Sloshi is passing me. Apparently CTG becomes pre-made with uh, staff ghosts for the CTGP tracks by some of the developers. Go figure. Alright then, good for you I guess. So as soon as this hedge disappears, okay, not maybe not as soon as the hedge disappears, but when that disappears, you can then take. Okay, okay. There's probably some more shortcuts than that, but that's all I can find. All right, it's time for our second cup, and this time I think we're gonna go with the classic baby Ouija, and uh, we're gonna do another car. We're gonna be on the standard cart, small. Just your basic boy cart, and actually if we take a look at it, uh, just pretty solid stats all around. That's what I'd expect from the standard, I guess. All right, we're now on the Boo Cup, Pepsi's favorite. It's We got Dark Matter Fortress, Magmatic Sanctuary, GU Village, and Windmill Village. Four new tracks. All right. Well, this will be interesting. The Boo Cup. So this is the cup where all everyone's going to be taking my power-ups, right? Dark Matter Fortress. Oh, this is a Mario Galaxy-themed course. This looks like Bowser's Dark Matter plant from Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, I think I played this one. I think uh, my sister picked this one when I played with her. Because I think she picked the Dark Matter Sanctuary and Dark Matter Fortress after that. This is the one she wanted because she's a huge Mario Galaxy fan. All right. And once again, we get the N64 Bowser Castle music, because it's a classic. Alright, Donkey Kong! That was completely uncalled for. Looks like I wasn't the only one who Donkey Kong pushed off extremely rudely. I was about to say, Yoshi, if you take my power. Yeah! There's always something. If there's a banana peel, I will probably hit it. good that's pretty respectable so yeah this course is just kind of driving for the mario galaxy state oh yes beautiful i love not shrinking because i'm invincible at the right time oh well it makes sense that boo is the main competition in the boo cup that was 
is tight. They almost didn't didn't catch that we were heading off a cliff at, at that moment. All right, Keen Boo. That was almost bad. Almost hit me. Keen Boo, are you going to be in as much of a butt as Donkey Kong was first lap? It sure seems like the kind of thing you would like to do. We what? Okay, so you're supposed to hit that boost ramp at an angle, but the game does nothing to tell you that, so you just have to know. Hey. <laughs> that Bowser. If I, if I say you're getting the Thundercloud, you're getting the Thundercloud! <laughs> oh. Okay. Shrinks can be devastating on this level if you're heading towards a cliff, which you're doing for, like, half the level. Oh, wow. I got this for Chaney Choppy. Move it. Hey, Booster Seat, how are you passing me? Booster Seat's like... the second slowest vehicle in the entire game? Something like that? Okay. Let's try this one a little bit differently. I don't think that was faster. <laughs> oh look, this, is, this seems familiar. I want, oh, this time it's Bowser's son who's out to get me. The son of Bowser and Miyamoto. And that's canon, folks. Yeah! Oh, the sharp shot. Oh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Hasta luego. All right, Dark Matter Fortress. That's uh, that's an interesting level. I like the homage to Mario Galaxy. It's fun to race through. I'd I'd give that one a big thumbs up. I I was a fan. That's a fun one. It seems a little bit like a front running level. Like if you get a big lead, it's gonna be real hard to catch you unless you get shrunk at the wrong time. But yeah, that's fine. It it was a fun one. Magmatic Sanctuary. I'm noticing that there's a reoccurring theme in CTGP of like. Let's take Grumble Volcano, but make it harder. Because that definitely seems like it's the case here. I mean, it looks really cool, don't get me wrong. And oftentimes they are really fun. It just... Created by Jason. Is that what it says, Jason? J-A-S. There's not a whole lot of other options. It could be maybe Jasper. Maybe someone whose uh, name is in a language that's not English. More N64 Bowser Castle? Again, I love this track, but um, if we keep getting it to this degree, I might start pumping my own music over it. Who wants to have a blast? Um, okay, there is literally no way to tell that that is off-road. But okay. <laughs> that whole part was pitch black. It's just like, oh, you reached the pitch black part that was not uh, road you were supposed to drive on. How was I supposed to know? Oh, that's not... Okay. Didn't realize we were supposed to just make like a 360 degree left turn there. That's okay, though. Oh, wow. That almost set... Oh, what the heck? It looked like we were driving to... Oh, no. Guys, it was all planned. All that was planned, so I wouldn't shrink. It literally looked like we were being driven towards the mountain. Oh, my gosh. Could I get a power-up? Like, it feels like I have not gotten a single power-up this entire course. There we go.
I'm sorry. How come the red shell was able to go off when a POW block literally just went off? There's no way you could have kept your red shell. They literally waited until the POW block ruined my green shells and then they threw them. Like, how? You can't do that. Oh, thank you. Thank you for giving me a fake, po a fake power box in second place. It's definitely gonna help me take the lead. Too tight. All right. I know that. I know that now. Donkey Kong? I've had enough of your shenanigans for one circuit. Okay, again, the level looks really cool. It's got a really cool theming. And honestly, the twists and turns are fun. It's just... It can be hard to tell what- oh, are you for real? Seems like these power-ups just keep getting thrown at the right time, so that way I can't do anything to stop them. Well, I'm hot on their tail. Yoshi? Since when have you been competing for the first place? I didn't even know you were in the race. And I'm not saying that to be mean, I just, I genuinely did not know. Okay, for some reason the path is now lit up. On the first lap, that path was pitch black and you could not see what was off-road and what was not. I want to know... <laughs> why? <laughs> Presumably because it's doing the Grumble Volcano thing, it changes a little bit every lap. Wow, double red shell in first. Alright, despite bad luck, we still won first place. That was a fun level. I just wish that, that the pads were a bit more lit up on lap one, and that maybe there were more signs to let you know in advance which way to turn. Otherwise, though, that was a very fun level, so good job. Give you a thumbs up. The thumbs up from Papa. GU Village, if this is anything like Jinjo Village. Oh, wow. It literally looks like we're just driving through, like, a town. This could be really, really good or really bad. <laughs> but it probably will be really good. Maybe it's like Greenwood Village from Diddy Kong Racing. Is this going to be a giant course? Nope, three laps. It's not going to be one giant lap. Oh, yeah, the Delfino music. Almost forgot about it. Okay, there is a lot of different ways to go. Oh, you chose that way. You needed a mushroom, but we weren't going to tell you in advance or anything. Oh, wow. Okay, I appreciate all the signs that let you know which way to turn. Because without the signs, this level would be a nightmare. I think this course is probably ripe with shortcuts. But I'm afraid of going, of turning the wrong way for fear of being like, Oh, you're going backwards now. Because of all the different possible ways. Is that freaking King Boo again? Oh, what? That did not get thrown nearly as far as I thought it would. Is that dry bones in a baby buggy? Oh, wait, no, that's not King Boo in. Wait. Who is in first? Peach is in first? She's racing? That. Also, why can't I j do jump tricks off of these, like, staircases? Oh, I see a pier that you can absolutely take a shortcut through. Ah, uh, that's apparently the wrong way. How was I supposed to know? Because there are signs that are pointing you to go in the other way direction, that's why. Oh man, this this course is going to be one of those courses that's just a blast playing time trials and explore to your heart's content. Alright, see, that's completely rude and unnecessary. Also, you gave me no warning that a bullet bill is coming. Oh, 
that looked painful. This is the green shell. Wow! Like, everybody is clustered all together. Bye bye. What's that? I'm in first place now? Aha. Wow, that is that is tight to make. I believe I saw a shortcut for that. It was okay. Nope. I thought I, there was a shortcut for there, but apparently there was not. I probably shouldn't be looking for shortcuts on the final lap. Yeah, we got first place to think about. Oh, it's Dry Bones in the, in the booster seat. How quaint. All right, that was an awesome level. Really cool. I definitely, after this cup, I'm going to go open this level in time trials and just kind of take a look around and see all the different ways you can go. Man, oh, I love that course. So fantastic. Love the scenery. Love the overall design. Love the different ways you... Oh, mm. oh, that's real good. Very, very good. And now for our final level, we got Windmill Village. Is this like Windmill Plains? It looks real nice. Kind of reminds me of, like, Amsterdam Drift from, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe slash Mario Kart Tour. Or whatever that course is called. Oh my gosh! This course is beautiful! Oh, excuse me, Peach, you big pig. Wow, Peach! Alright, you're making a real big statement right away. Okay, we're going underwater, apparently. We're allowed to do that in Mario Kart Wii now. Oh, the Waluigi. You're not even a real Nintendo character. Camelot owns you. Which is why you're not going in Smash Brothers. Which is a shame, because I love me some Waluigi. Waluigi deserves his own game. Wario got uh, his own, like, trio of games. And then his own spin-off series. Doggone it, I want to play Waluigi's Apartment, the spin-off to Luigi's Mansion. Smaller in scale, bigger in heart. Here you learn about Waluigi's struggles in the day-to-day -day life of being an adult in the Mushroom Kingdom. Now come on, doesn't that idea make you want to go out and buy a copy of Waluigi's Apartment right now? I know, I know I do. If only it existed. All right, so this is a fairly simple course in terms of the overall shape of it, but it's very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Also, wow, Boo was overlapping with Dry Bones on the minimap there, and it looked like Boo's eyes were like crazy eyes because it was Dry Bones' eyes melded onto Boo's like body. Why are we with all these green shells? I do not support green shells. Do 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 Here we go. Oh yeah, you're so far behind, you'll never catch me. Unless a blue shell comes. And a blue shell will come in three, two, one. Psych! Haha! <laughs> oh, yeah. Baby Ouija gets another perfect 60 points. Alright, two awesome circuits today. Very happy. All of those races were pretty awesome. So, big two thumbs up for everything today. Great job, developers. That was a lot of fun. But most of my struggles came from the AI just being mean. Oh, only an A rank. Darn it. Sorry, we can't end the video until the Count does a couple of uh, time trials here in Geo Village. 
So I'm not even going to try to beat the AI. I'm just looking around for shortcuts or cool alternate ways we can go. Okay, so there are three ways to go. I think I went every single way. So this way up here, it cuts you across grass, but in the end it will take you along the slightly shorter path, which is cool. I like that. Is there a gap in any of the fence? Oh, there's a gap in the fence here. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's the tunnel that I went in the wrong. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Then is there a... Sh Wait, oh my gosh. Can you take a shortcut through the person's house? No, but... Oh! Dude! Oh, man, this is so cool. How the... Wow. Um, that's like the world's most precise hallway. Like, if you can take it, then props to you, but... Wow. Okay, so now we're off-road. Is there any purpose in being off-road here? Or is it literally just like, haha, you went off-road? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure about you, Lakitu, but I'm not really seeing a whole lot of walls there. Okay, then there's this whole area over to the left that I never explored. Oh! Okay, that's pretty cool. Another little side area here. Oh, dude! There are so many opportunities for, like... <laughs> This is weird, because there's like a mix of like, these are just genuine alternate ways to go. A mix of like, hey, there's a shortcut here that you can take, which is pretty cool. And then also like, oh, you can go off-road here, but if you do, then like, you're not gonna be a happy camper. Because you're just gonna get stuck. Like, this grassy area here. <laughs> I kind of dig it though. Wait, is this another secret passageway? Oh. See, this course, I love courses like this, where there's so much to explore. So many shortcuts to find. It's great. Just like Tony the Tiger always wanted. Exactly what we demand. Okay. Also a way you can go up here, but again, it just takes us to a dead end. Okay, okay, I think we've I think we figured it out. So now let's see if we can put our mushrooms to good use and see if we can get a really quick lap through the village. I'm pretty sure for this first one over here, you don't actually need a mushroom. I think if we just do a precise hop, yeah, you can do that. Now, I crashed a little bit there, but that's okay. All right, we can do that. Shoot, I just realized, okay. Oh, let's count the number of times we go off road the wrong way, okay. How in the world do you get through that part quickly? Are you even supposed to be able to go... F Once you go through there, like, the pathway to get back is so t There's no way. There's no way that you could get through that really quickly. Oh, this is cool, though. Again, I'm having a blast just exploring the level, even if, even if a lot of it's not really viable to do in terms of... Rate. This is so cool! So much, like, was put into this level, even if you don't race on all of it. Okay, so some of these shortcuts are really cool, and some of them are just absolutely not worth it. And hang on a second. Is there a way to get on top of the fountains? Uh, probably not. Still, though, the Count was able to count all the different ways to go. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode of Mario Kart Wii CTGP. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, we're going to be playing two more cups, and we only have a couple more vehicles to try out, so maybe we can get for all of the remaining vehicles within the next two videos uh, while we continue CTGP. So, look forward to that next time. Thanks for watching, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.